Hello everyone, Rebbe Jamaica here. Welcome to this updated video on the weather across Jamaica and the rest of the Caribbean. It is Friday evening, April 5, 2024. Now before we jump into it, please ensure that you guys like the video, share it, subscribe and tap notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I post a brand new video. Feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section letting me know what the weather has been like in your area recently. Also feel free to ask any weather related question that you might have about the future of the weather in your specific area. Alright, so let us take a look at the surface map of the Atlantic for this evening. We can still see that the entire Atlantic Basin is being dominated by that ridge of high pressure. That's sending all of those easterly trade winds pushing some low level clouds from east to west. Not to mention some amount of sour and dust that has actually made it from Africa into sections of the Caribbean. You can also see this blue spike line right here stretching all the way down into portions of the Bahamas, Central Cuba and Western Caribbean associated with a cold front. And if we take a look at the visible satellite images of the Atlantic before the sun went down, you can actually see the line of clouds associated with that cold front stretching across portions of the Bahamas, Cuba, the Western Caribbean, into sections of Central America. And we can also see those low level patches of clouds pushing from east to west across the Mandeville Verma region into the Caribbean, all courtesy of the easterly trade wind brought about by the ridge of high pressure. We'll be talking more about the Caribbean's weather later on. Let us focus our attention on the prediction that was made in yesterday's video about the weather across Jamaica for today, Friday, April 5. It was stated that sections of eastern Jamaica would have received some early morning rainfall and then would have received some rainfall across sections of some central and western parishes. And if you remember yesterday's video, we also highlighted the fact that the upper level wind shear would have pushed all of those high cold cloud tops if we would have gotten some cumulonimbus clouds. Those clouds would have been pushed out towards the north, bringing more so into effort and faulty section of some northern parishes. And just for reference, we know eastern parishes, we're talking about those parishes in the county of Surrey. So Portland, St. Thomas, Kingston, St. Andrew. Central parishes, you know, we're talking about those parishes in the county of Middlesex. So St. Anne, St. Near, St. Catherine, Clarendon, Manchester. And finally, western parishes, you know, we're talking about those parishes in the county of Cornwall. So St. Elizabeth, Westmoreland, Hanover, St. James, Trelawney. And just for reference, as stated, the upper level wind shear would have pushed those clouds off to the north. So northern parishes, we're talking about Hanover, St. James, Trelawney, St. Anne, St. Near, Portland. And what ended up happening? Actually, as early as 2 a.m., I believe I got up one at one point, and I saw some clouds bring some isolated showers to sections of eastern Jamaica. And then, at about 8.46 a.m., when I wasn't that lazy enough to make a post, <laughs> We actually had some clouds bring some isolated showers to sections of St. Thomas and Portland at that time, which indeed confirms the rainfall for that time period. Then, another post was made a bit too late, apart from when it was actually occurring, but it does indeed show that the forecast was correct, as we had some buildup of clouds that brought in some amount of isolated afternoon thunder shower activity across sections of Trelawney and St. Anne. And we can see it all even better on the latest visible satellite images. We saw those clouds definitely building up, especially across inland areas of some central and western parishes. So we definitely had some isolated shower activity across sections of Manchester, St. Elizabeth, Hanover, sections of St. James, Trelawney, and St. Anne especially. And we see the sparkling white dust that indicate the lightning strikes, if not lightning flashes, across sections of those areas today. Not to mention the high cold cloud tops represented by the blues, greens, yellows, and red. So we definitely had some cumulonimbus clouds. Definitely had some thunderstorm activity today. If we take a look at the temperatures right now, we can tell 27 degrees Celsius in both Montego Bay and Kingston. And by about 4 a.m. on Saturday, temperatures should dip down to about 23 degrees Celsius in Montego Bay, 24 degrees Celsius in Kingston. As related to the temperature forecast for tomorrow, this map from the GFS is showing 18Z on a Saturday, which is actually 1 p.m. on Saturday. And we see Jamaica embedded in some goldish orange colors. And all of that is representative of up to 3 degrees Celsius above normal temperatures. One of the normal temperatures for the month of April across Jamaica are about the same as 88 degrees Fahrenheit. If we take a look at the thermometer, 88 degrees Fahrenheit is about the same as 30 degrees Celsius. So we should be getting anywhere from 30 to 33 degrees Celsius at most for Jamaica's temperatures on Saturday. 
as she laces the dry ear mark you can see that the dry ear is represented by what we see on the key on the bottom the yellows the oranges the reds and the white within those reds and we do see the dry ear definitely plaguing the entire atlantic basin not so much across the south western and central caribbean close to jamaica where we see more so in the way of blues and want to be grateful for that it's not that dry so it actually opens up the possibility of more afternoon isolated thunder shower activity however we're starting to see some sour and dust making its way into portions of the caribbean this map is showing the forecast for 2 p.m on saturday and we do see the browns that stretch all the way from africa across the southern main development region intersections of the windward islands especially the southern caribbean sections of the abc island venezuela guyana Suriname, french guyana definitely getting in on some amount of hazy weather maybe triggering some asthma or sinusitis in some people some of which could make it into sections of the jamaica area by sunday as she lays the wave forecast for tomorrow we do see that the lighter shades of blues are more focused to section of northern and western jamaica and we know that the lighter shades of blues are representing what we see on the key on the bottom right zero to zero point five for meter wave size while the darker shades of blues should be plaguing section of some southern and eastern parishes that's representative of anywhere from one to one point five meter wave heights and that's because the winds are going to be strongest on the southern and eastern side of the island with those brighter greens that we can see on the key on the bottom right that represent anywhere from maybe 10 to 50 maybe even 20 knots northern and western parishes in jamaica getting the winds coming in from the east northeast for the most part averaging anywhere from five to ten knots and we can also see the blues that represent anywhere from zero to five knots definitely piling up across sections of some inland areas of some central and western parishes so we could get in on some amount of isolated afternoon shower activity again something similar to what happened and with the upper level winds this time seem to be coming in from the west there's a high chance that whatever develops maybe thunderstorm activity during the afternoon is going to be pushed off more so towards the east than to the northeast unlike what we had yesterday so it's definitely going to be plaguing more so in the way of some eastern central western parishes especially inland areas of some of these parishes so northern west milan northern saint elizabeth northern manchester northern section of clarendon saint Catherine, and saint andrew southern ears of st mary st Anne, Trelawney, st james hanover we'll see exactly what unfolds either way taking a look at the one hour total precipitation forecast map this map from the euro and this map from the gfs are showing 2 a.m eastern standard time which is actually 1 a.m jamaica time and what do we see where's the consensus in terms of the blues that represent rainfall we see that there's definitely going to be some amount of rainfall surrounding the island maybe some of which might be meandering or making it on the land let's see exactly what unfolds with that at 1 a.m and uh, then by 7 a.m eastern standard time which is actually 6 a.m jamaica time where do we see the blues that represent rainfall more so across section of some northwestern parishes so maybe section of st james hanover might get in on the action then uh, finally by 4 p.m eastern standard time is actually 3 p.m jamaica time where do we see the blues that represent rainfall more so mainly across section of some central and western parishes in uh, jamaica maybe spilling into sections of let's see western portland section of saint andrew western saint thomas on the gfs either way blues that represent rainfall on saturday afternoon across central and western uh, jamaica so definitely sections <coughs> some parishes in middlesex some parishes in cornwall we'll see exactly what unfolds with that either way both accumulated precipitation forecast maps are showing some amount of measurable rainfall across jamaica from now on until 10 pm on saturday the gfs showing up to 0.22 of an inch of rainfall euro showing a bit more up to 0.42 of an inch of rainfall usually the euro shows more in terms of the rainfall totals and we see the consensus definitely across sections of some central and uh, western parishes we'll see exactly what unfolds with that either way we're in the month of april we're starting to see some more thunderstorm activities starting to fire up across the jamaica area 
we usually get up to 114 millimeters of rainfall that's up to at least five inches of rainfall for the entire month across the island so we'll take all the rainfall that we can get to put some kind of a dent in uh, the drought that some areas are currently receiving all right so that's it for the forecast across jamaica let us focus our attention on the rest of the caribbean so as stated we have the line of clouds associated with the cold front bringing overcast skies and isolated showers to sections of the bahamas central cuba sections of the western caribbean including central america so belize guatemala honduras some thunderstorm activity taking place across section of colombia as usual southern venezuela section of guyana Suriname, french guyana as usual and if we take a look at the doppler radar images of the northeastern caribbean for today they didn't have much taking place at uh even on the barbados radar it was null and void nothing to see here some isolated showers storm mist showers right there to the east of martinique and to the northeast of saint lucia nothing drastic to speak about a look at the weather view of doppler radar images reveals that rainfall that was definitely taking sections of belize now off to the east of the country some rainfall off to the east of nicaragua some rainfall affecting sections of Colombia, as usual, sections of Western Guyana, Suriname, got in on some amount of rainfall today. And even sections of southern Puerto Rico got in on some amount of isolated shower activity as well. If we take a look at the temperature forecast for tomorrow, this map from the GFS is showing 18 p.m. on Saturday, which is actually 1 p.m. on Saturday. And we do see that majority of the Caribbean should be getting on those yellows and orange colors that represent those above normal temperatures. And as it relates to the siren, this forecast for 2 p.m. on Saturday, the dust, as represented by the brown, should be stretching all the way across the main development region, heading into sections of the especially windward islands, the southern Caribbean, the ABC islands, Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname, French Guyana. And it's definitely going to be bringing in some amount of hazy skies across the region, maybe triggering some asthma sinusitis in uh, some people it's starting to get into that time of year where we're gonna be getting in on some more vigorous saharan dust plume so get used to it as well as the wave forecast for tomorrow both the euro and the gfs are in consensus that we should be receiving those lighter shades of blues to darker shades of blues that represent anywhere from 0 0.5 from meter wave files to 1 to 1.5 meter wave files and that's because the winds are gonna be averaging as we can see by the green Averaging anywhere from 10 to 15, maybe even gusting to 20 knots, and for the most part coming in from the east. As to let the rainfall forecast totals now, we're looking for a consensus with what both the Euro and the GFS models are showing in terms of a rainfall. And we're seeing some drastic differences with what both maps are actually showing, but we're going to be talking about where we're seeing it on both maps. So sections of eastern Cuba sections of hispaniola might get on some amount of rainfall within the next 24 hours sections of puerto rico as well not to mention sections of jamaica that we mentioned earlier sections of suriname guyana southern venezuela colombia panama costa rica sections of nicaragua and honduras even sections of belize seem to be getting on some amount of rainfall within the next 24 hours I know that when both maps from the Euro and the GFS are in consensus like this, the chances of actually happening are much higher. Alright, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching.